My name is Erica Trevahorn, and I'm the art teacher at Sibley. We're here today to get a little tour of the gallery that's just been set up for the All School Art Show. Um, we started here in kindergarten by the front door, and then in kindergarten, my students are working on thinking and exploring the world, or about the world around them. So we are doing things with shapes and lines and colors. Um, students start to explore things, like we have a picture that Rowan made of a fire truck that he saw at school. Um, other students are exploring things that they want to represent, like their families, or the community they live in, or things that we had set out at tables. Um, some students also start exploring with patterns and colors, and so we have a few examples of students that were just playing around with that. Um, when we move into first grade, we start to focus more on thinking about why they're creating their ideas, and so a lot of my first graders have statements underneath their pieces and explaining what their ideas were, why they created them, and what's really important to them and what they're proud of in their piece. So we have some pieces where, again, kids are still playing with the idea of patterns and textures and colors. Some of them are starting to explore with different types of shapes. Um, and then we also have some students who are starting to explore more about the world around them and creating stories to them. So we have like Nilo's piece down here where it's about a racetrack and the excitement of a race. Um, students also start to explore more into things that are independently interesting to them. So we have a lot of kids who are interested in Minecraft. They figure out how it looks to draw those things. Um, some of them are interested, like I said, in ocean life. And so we have a lot of things in space and different things that they see in their community become their, their points of reference. By the time we start moving to second grade in our curriculum, students are really interested in finding independent motivation in their art. So we have a lot of students who are finding creative opportunities in things that they enjoy. Some students really enjoy their video games. Some of them are really motivated by certain feelings. Some of them are just representing their toys that they like and that they think are most interesting. Some of them are more interested in exploring new techniques, and so we have fun things we get to learn how to do, like weaving, or again, just how to work with different materials, different types of paints, and different types of um, blending of different materials to create their images. Some students are stretching themselves by doing a lot more practicing how to draw certain techniques, and so some of the images, like Jack's up top, or like Charlie down here on the bottom, did pieces where they wanted to observe how to draw something, and then turn the rest of the image into their own creative idea. Third grade continues with a lot of that same mindset, so we start to explore new techniques and expand what we know. So in first or third grade, we started doing a little bit more intricate designs with embroidery. Some students were exploring with that. Um, students really start to recognize the, er the way the world looks around them, so some students are exploring more with landscapes and developing a sense of space. Um, recognizing different features within a landscape and how things interact together. Again, some are starting to explore more with value. We also start to introduce technology in, so students are using iPads to create. And so we have a couple pieces up here by Oliver and Lily that are different pieces that they made with technology using Adobe Draw or Adobe Fresco. And then some students are getting interested in, again, trying to represent reality or complete fiction. And so again, Walter up at the top is creating his own fictional characters, and Naya over on the side there is working on trying to represent what a real eye looks like. And then, moving into fourth grade, students have had a little more time to use the iPad. Some of them, again, are playing with representing reality or abstraction more. Um, some of them are using basic shapes to kind of play around, like you can see Owen made a starship. He designed what his starship would look like someday, creating that. Um, we've also had some students play around, again, trying new techniques, new markers. These are illustrator markers, and kids were playing around with how that would create an image. Some kids, again, are still really focused on observation, so like Oliver is trying to represent the sense of space in a football field and how to recognize that or playing around with design, and again, Gracie, who's planning and arranging her piece there with a the flower. Um, <clears throat> there are some other fourth grade pieces in here as well. Hudson has his Swiss Alps that he made with his St. Bernard. He's been really interested in trying to show dog breeds that he enjoys and the places where they're from. Or Owen had this, it's really hard to see in some of the details, but was practicing zooming in on his creations and trying to draw tiny, tiny details on an iPad to get an image. And then last, we have our fifth graders. So our fifth graders um, are usually the ones who start to really press what their technical abilities are. And so you'll see a lot of variety in different pieces that students are creating. 
Um, some are exploring with paints and trying to use different values to create an image. Um, again, some are playing around with certain materials, like Burgess using colored pencils and seeing how different pressures with that could work. Same thing with Christy with the wolf next to it. Um, some of them are com um, combining different materials. I know Emily here was using Sculpey to create pieces and then was attaching them onto her um, sculpture or to a painting that she was working on. Below that, I know Mariana was playing around with, again, just different values and creations that she can make with that. Um, and again, some kids are playing around with meaning and intent as well. Bailey picked something that had personal connection to her, um, trying to represent her cat. And on this wall, we also get to start playing a little bit more with printmaking. And so John was creating some fish there. He did an etching, and then we did multiple prints, and he picked a couple that he wanted to display. Um, again, still in fifth grade, playing around with sense of space and kind of design. Some students start to really understand and represent the world around them as they see it as a three-dimensional area. So.